Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and welcome to another raw video, a raw take about something that's happening in the industry, especially with the Google and the Android App Store. So I'll talk about that, what's happening and what are the new policies that Google has implemented if you really want to roll out an app in the Android Store. So there's a lot of fun and raw take in this video. And I'll walk you through with what are my perspective of it and what you should really know about it. This is a generalized update which everybody should know about. So we all know that companies do sneak up these policy updates and changes all the time. And they really think that nobody will notice it and nobody will talk about it. But hey, we are people, we look out for blogs and articles. Uh, we really like to talk about them, what are the changes that are happening and this is one such video. So in case you don't know, first let me walk you through what's happening in this and then we'll talk about this one. So in case you don't know, uh, this is the situation right now. So Android app testing has gone through with some of the updates and there are new app testing requirement and these are changes from November 2023. I've highlighted a certain portion which really needs your attention. So what they're doing is they are introducing new testing requirements which... Uh, is simply saying that you need to have 20 people. Yep, you need a minimum of 20 testers uh, before you roll out any app. So yeah, there's there's a lot that you need to understand about that, why this is happening, how this is happening. Should it be happening? All right, so first of all, let's understand what is happening and why is it happening. We all are aware of the fact that if you use any Android device, which I also use, there are tons of crappy app in the Play Store and there is no denial of it. There are so many copycat apps, there are so many low quality apps and Android is also aware of it. The store is just constantly getting filled with the apps, but there are only a handful of the quality apps that are coming in. And if you ask me what's the reason for it, somebody who has rolled out dozens of apps for personally, for commercially, for other companies, the fact is that Android only asks you $25 to create an account and after that lifetime it's free and you can just have fun and roll out as many apps as you wish. There is no strong criteria check. Uh, there are only automation check that happens that whether it's functioning and all good and all of that. And it allows you to just garbage dump all the apps that you're trying testing in the production, which is really scary. On the other hand, if you look for the Apple ecosystem, it is expensive, first of all. It requires you to pay almost $200 every year. I'm not sure if it's $100, $200. It's been a while that I've renewed my license. Uh, but yes, there is a certain amount which you have to pay every single year. So when you pay like $200 every year, first of all, you need to be really serious about maintaining that app that, hey, I'm investing my own pocket money, which is $200 every year. So that is one of the major gateway reasons why most of the bullshit app automatically goes down from the iOS store. Another one is a strict checking. iOS does a really, really strict checking for all these apps. What they are doing, what they are producing, what access resources they are using. If you are using camera, why you are using camera, give me the resource and give me the reason why you are doing that. If you are doing some of the payment gateways there, Apple is a very strict platform. You cannot use third-party payment gateway systems there. You have to use Apple in-app purchase only. And that is a skill in itself to master if you want to produce app. And on the other hand, if we talk about the Android store, there's no such requirement. You can use third-party apps, open your browser, do the payments there, and then transfer. There's, there's a lot of hacks that can be done and that are being constantly done in the app. So Android is also aware of that, that this is happening. And in order to protect the users from these kinds of bullshit apps, what they've done is now they're trying to restrict the environment. But I don't think so. This is a right way of restricting uh, the user from uploading the app. First of all, most of us are indie programmers who want to launch their app. Uh, to be honest, we don't have 20 friends who can constantly just look out for my app and give me the constant feedback. I don't have 20 of those friends. Uh, yes, I have many people and I have a good following on the internet. Uh, I can be really blessed in that sense, but most of the people don't have 20 friends to actually do that. And they might be having friends, but not those kinds of friends who can constantly use my app and daily give me feedback or something. No, that kind of people doesn't exist. We don't have that friends. So putting this kind of a requirement uh, I really don't know what to say about it. It's not a great way. It's not a great part to go for that. If you want to really restrict it, probably introduce some pricing. Ask people 1,000 rupees, $10, $20, something that whenever you want to publish a new app, pay this. This is a yearly fees. Or make your account a little bit more expensive. Not too much, but a little bit, maybe $50. And after that, you have to pay $20 every year. Maybe just like that if you want to keep it more affordable. 
in that way only people who are very serious about their app will keep on uh, paying that amount and will be keeping their app in the system so i think there needs to be a different take on how this should be done and this should be made much more publicly available right now you have hidden that in just the faqs and all of that not good not good uh, google <laughs> not this is a very very sneaky way that you have done it but hey people are going to catch you up don't don't you think like that so if you notice this this was just rolled out as a play console help not even in their blog like why why are you hiding this everybody will eventually notice this so i'll just read out a couple of ones which you really need so this is saying that hey Hey, we are introducing testing requirement for newly created personal accounts. So first of all, it doesn't affect the previously accounts so of all the crappy apps. It doesn't impact it that much. According to me, I could be wrong. And it says that you can verify your app's correctness, functional behavior, usability before you release it publicly. Oh, it's for good for me. <laughs> Come on, we are making these dumb jokes. Uh, this minimizes the impact of any technical user experience issues and help you to release the beta version of your app. Developers that regularly use Play Console testing tools prior to publishing their apps are able to provide higher quality experience. So this quality is your issue, uh, Google. <laughs> this is your issue. You allowed so many of the crappy apps without testing, being lenient on the testing and rules and regulation. And that's what you are facing right now. <laughs> this is your issue. So they have changed this, that we are introducing new testing requirement. Uh, developers with personal account created after November 13, so be sure of that, uh, will need to test their apps before uh, those apps are eligible for published for distribution on Google Play. Uh, that's why EU was so strict on these. These are duopoly. Google Play and iOS App Store, <laughs> these are the only way to distribute your apps. Uh, this is the overview of testing, which I really didn't like it. If you are a newly created personal developer account, you must run a closed test of app with minimum 20 testers. 20 testers? Oh, man. Most programmers are making their apps sitting in just one room and writing codes day in and day out and just publish it on the go just like that. That's how people are learning, not with by 20 testers. Uh, opt in for at least for 14 days continuously. Uh, if, if I would have made an app which 20 people uh, would have constantly used for 14 days, day in and day out, I have made already a viral app. <laughs> I could raise money on that. Uh, when you meet this criteria, you can apply for production access in the dashboard and the play console. So uh, on one side, I think it's good that less crappy app will be there. But I think you could have chosen better way of monitoring and producing higher quality apps. Probably money could be the easiest gateway blocker that you could have introduced. And another could be a constant fees every year, every six months or an app for a new app that you are publishing in that way, you can see the seriousness of the people. Uh, this is already a very good one in, in one way or the another. Uh, but I think introduction of the money is really, really essential. Apple did it. They did it nicely. And it's working for them. Only serious people are able to publish it. And they're very strict on their policies. I, I remember, I'll share you one thing incident. I still remember there was an incident with our own app in one of my earlier startup where I was, uh, I, which was I owned. Uh, so in that, we wanted to publish a learning app. And in that app, we were teaching Android course and iOS rejected our app just because we had a course. It was not actually about the course. They said that, hey, uh, in the description of the app, we actually wrote that, hey, we teach uh, you Android development, iOS development. So they said strictly that in our policy, it is written that you cannot name third party platforms on our application. So Android for them, they call it third party. Weird, weird. But they rejected our app. Ultimately, we had to pull down our Android course, relaunch the app and produce over the year updates to relaunch that course on the app. Another story. But yes, they are that much strict in that case. Yeah. So we need some strictness in the checking. Uh, but this 20 people testing, come on, man. This is, uh, I don't really like that. So this is just a fancy update by Google uh, bringing to you on this channel, which I usually does. Uh, so that's it. Thank you so much for joining in. If you have any uh, thoughts, comments, tweet this video out so that more people are aware of this situation. And at least they are aware of the new policy changes. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts about it. Very raw video. Just wanted to give you an update. That's it for this video. And let's catch up in the next one.